Hi friends, uh, welcome back to Coffee with Ravi. Today uh, my post is about pulmonary rehab or as I titled it, how to breathe better. Pulmonary rehab is a technique or training that's imparted to people with chronic lung disease. However, some of these basics can be used even in people who do not have lung disease uh, to help them achieve better oxygenation and better ventilation of the lungs. As we know, lungs are the powerhouses uh, along with the heart that send oxygen all over. These techniques that I'm referring to have been endorsed by the American Thoracic Society, the European Respiratory Society, and the Global Initiative for Chronic Obstructive Lung Disease. Chronic obstructive lung disease is a process where predominantly caused by smoking or exposure to smoke and there are certain few other inherited lung disease such as alpha-1 antitrypsin, etc. that cause bleb formation or problems within the windpipe and the airways that go down to the lungs which cause air to either not go all the way into the lungs or air to uh, get trapped in the lungs or, or there is inability to fully send oxygen to different areas of the lung. So these are diseases that are called emphysema or bronchiectasis in medical terms. Uh, it's quite common and can cause significant impact on quality of life and other oxygen systems. However, there are things that we can do uh, to help uh, keep things uh, moving across. The principles of treatment include avoiding smoking, Periodic vaccinations for pneumococcal vaccination or influenza vaccination. These help people who have already compromised lungs not to have other infections that can tip them over. And of course, now with the COVID vaccine, that's a given as well. Uh, regular physical activity uh, is important and we'll cover that within the aspect of regular correct pulmonary rehab. In addition, using the inhalers in a correct manner is useful and we'll, okay, we can cover that in future posts. In other words, how to have a spacer, how to kind of hold the inhaler so that the inhaler medicine gets deposited in the lungs and how to rinse the mouth after you use an inhaler, etc. All of these are important uh, and uh, long-term oxygen. But today I want to focus for the next minute or two about pulmonary rehab. The basic fundamental of pulmonary rehab is that we are training the muscles that are involved in breathing as well as the other muscles that the body has and all of these play together in helping the lungs expand better. There are th three types of uh, uh, training that you could do that help in endurance. This could be uh, just general exercise that moves the arms and legs. So whatever you can, one can do, if one cannot walk, there are things that are available that you can use. Uh, and I have a photograph uh, um, uh, on Amazon that shows that, uh, where you can actually, while you're watching TV or something, ability to move your legs or to exercise the arms, that's helpful. If one is then capable of more, you can walk. If one can walk, you can do brief bursts of brisker walking. And these techniques and uh, examples that I can, I'm using can be used in people who also don't have lung disease because you are actually then building a little bit more breathing reserve. The second form of exercise or a different form of exercise that you can do is putting pressure on the muscle called resistance training. So in other words, just simply getting up from the chairs 10 times twice a day or pushing against the wall. Uh, or any kind of uh, body weight exercises and actually I want to do a post on what's resistance training and what's beginning resistance training uh, in one of my next episodes but I'm giving you examples of what I'm calling resistance training. So this is very helpful both for people with lung disease and uh, of others too because it engages different muscles. The most important aspects as it relates to uh, uh, more going towards the lung breathing is what we are calling pursed lip breathing where you're inhaling and then you're exhaling against a pursed lip in other words you're putting you're taking a breath in and as you're breathing out you're putting a little bit of pressure on the breathing out so that that allows the lungs inside to open up uh, and, and and oxygenate better 
The most important technique that I want you to take away today uh, is what I'm calling diaphragmatic breathing. The diaphragm is a muscle that sits between the chest and the abdomen. It's a thick band of muscle and it's one of the most powerful muscles in the body. We exercise that every time we take a breath in and specific attention to diaphragmatic breathing will help people with lung disease because you're actually using the diaphragm then to expand the lung better and building more reserve. And even for people without lung disease, it's very useful. What I tell patients is that there's two things that they can do. One is a technique that I can show you when you lie on the ground and another with a sandbag and I'll demonstrate both of these to you. Other exercise that exercises uh, that can help are exercises like Tai Chi, which are gentle movement exercises, but that coordinate both muscle coordination and breathing at the same time. Here are two examples of diaphragmatic breathing. The first one is what we could call breathing with the help of body weight. And what I'm demonstrating in this posture is how you're actually going to comfortably rest on your forearms on the ground if you're able to lie on your belly. And as you adjust, you can feel the body weight pressing down on the belly. And as you breathe in and out, you should be able to feel your abdomen push into the ground as you breathe and push away from the ground as you breathe out. So this is sometimes in some areas has been called the crocodile type pose. The second one is assisted breathing for diaphragmatic breathing and I'm using a sandbag on the belly because what you're doing is some form of resistance training of the diaphragm by using this sandbag. If you don't have a sandbag, you can make one or you can use a bigger weight book or something that is similar to that. Sandbags, I think, are also available um, on the internet for sale. But please try this and you will soon see that you will have a little bit more vigor and oxygenation as you do this a couple of times for a few minutes a day. Thank you for listening today and we'll come back and follow up some of these other improvements you can do in taking care of your lung disease in later day posts.